Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Sam. I am a licensed hairstylist. And in today's video, as you can tell from the title, we're cracking open the Dyson Professional Blow Dryer, and I'm gonna try it out for the first time and give you my first impression thoughts. When Dyson first came out with their hair products, I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Then when I saw the price, I was like, <laughs> No, thank you. And I really just felt like it was overhyped. And I felt like I was seeing more like influencers using these products than I was actual professional hairstylists. So to me, I just felt like it's probably gimmicky. That price is ridiculous. The professional tools that I use currently work great. But, you know, I always was just a little curious to try it in the back of my mind. So I thought, let me give it a try and let's see what all the hype is about. Is it actually worth the high price tag? You guys know I always keep it real with you. I'm always honest. I always will tell you if something is actually worth it or not. And this video, by the way, is not sponsored at all whatsoever by anyone. So this is everything was bought with my own money. So you're gonna get like a completely unbiased first impression. But speaking of the price, full price, it retails for $449.99, so $450. If you are professionally licensed and you do want to try this out, order from the Dyson website and there's a phone number right on the product page, it's like an 800 number that you call, you give them your license number and then you'll get a professional discount. So um, this for me came out to $317.99. So still a lot of money, but hey, I'm always a fan of a discount wherever I can get one. <laughs> so this is what the box looks like. It's still wrapped in the plastic and everything. I haven't even opened it at all. This is what it looks like. I will say it is very sleek. Okay, so it comes with a diffuser. And then I'm assuming this is like a heat resistant. Ooh. Yeah, like a little pad that you can place down to rest all your hot tools on. And then there's this box. You have multiple different concentrators. So a more narrow one, a more open one. Oh, and then an extra filter. And then it comes with the manual. In the manual, it explains all of the different pieces all of the settings and buttons on the actual blow dryer, um, safety information, all that kind of stuff. So you have your on and off button here, slides up and down, you have a cold shot button, um, you have temperature control, which is this button. There's four heat settings, so you press and hold to deactivate heat and set style. Oh, and then there's little lights Obviously it's off now so you can't see, but there's little LED lights that light up on the side here so you can see which setting you're on. And then this is airflow control. So basically it's like your speed here and then your heat and temperature on this side. Um, so, so far not too different than the blow dryer I already have. Ooh. Okay, that is pretty cool. So these are magnetic, all of the nozzles. Ooh, and it's, it is really on there. I like that. And you can still move it around, but you don't have to worry. Like you have to like really tug to get it off. Okay. Um, this cord is absolutely ginormous. For comparison, I'm 5'2". I could use this cord as a jump rope. That's freaking long. That's nice. All right, so enough jabbing. Let's get this plugged in. So I'm gonna just do everything the way I normally would when I blow dry my hair. I just got out of the shower. I've been letting it air dry for the last like 20 minutes or so. That's what I always like to do whenever I'm blow drying my hair to help like cut down on blow dry time. Um, I'm gonna spray the Wella Thermal Image Thermal Spray for heat protection. And then I'm just going to section my hair. I'm not gonna do anything fancy, just a standard blowout just to smooth out my curls and you know, 
get it dry. I'm using a two inch round brush and I think I'm going to do the concentrator. I will say I do like the shape of it. Like it feels good in my hand and it's not heavy at all. And what I like too is that this part is shorter so it's not as top heavy. So I feel like it might be a little bit gentler on my wrist than a traditional blow dryer that is a little bit heavier up top. The cord is a little heavy though. So I don't know, we'll see as I'm using it. So I'm doing it on high heat and high speed and you can hear it's really not loud at all. I really didn't want to like this. <laughs> I really, like, I went into this video, I, I mean, trying to be as unbiased as possible, but, like, I really expected my reaction to be like, yeah, it's okay, but, like, but my regular blow dryer works just as well. Have you been to a public restroom that has the Dyson hand dryers? You know how the air just comes out and it just shoots the water right off of your hands and it dries them in, like, two seconds? It's the exact same kind of power and airflow as those hand dryers. And I love those hand dryers. It is extremely powerful, yet pretty quiet. And even though I had the heat on the hottest setting, it didn't feel as hot as my regular blow dryers do. Like it didn't feel like it was blasting my hair with a lot of heat. Like it was really just more air than anything. So it got it dry super fast and I feel like without applying as much heat so not as much damage long term and wow like this one section already just looks amazing and I didn't even have to put in any effort like that was me whatever let's continue let me do my whole head and then we'll, we'll see
So all over, I've just been doing it on the highest speed and highest heat, but just for my little like bang area, I'm gonna set it with the cool shot button to try that out. So for the cool shot button, you actually have the option of holding this button down or you can just keep pressing the heat button until you turn the heat off and then it'll just be on the cool setting without you having to hold this button down. So you have two options depending on what you're doing and what is easier for you, which I really like that. Because sometimes when I'm using the cool setting, it's a pain in the ass to have to like flip back and forth between cold setting and hot setting. So it's nice to be able to just hold down that button. But if you're doing like a whole big section, sometimes holding down the button is annoying. So it's nice that you can do either or. But uh, here's how my hair looks. I'm gonna be totally honest. With the technique that I just did, like just like that quick no rhyme or reason, no like real specific technique, just kind of like a messy quick blowout. My hair never looks this smooth and shiny. Like in order for me to get my hair to look like this, I have to like really take my time and be meticulous and do small sections and like really take my time with it. Um, Cause my hair naturally is just, you saw it's curly, it's frizzy, it's just whatever, it's all over the place. So, Wow. I'm really mad right now because I I legitimately wanted to hate this and think that it was gimmicky and a waste of money. I apologize to Dyson and to every like influencer that I've ever seen using it on Instagram that I like shit talked in my head a little bit because I just I don't know I just assumed like yeah they say they love it because it was sent to them for free. Like I'm sure I would love it too if it was free but so let's compare a little bit. Let me insert a clip of my hair normally, what it looks like after I do this exact type of blowout with my regular blow dryer so that you can compare how it looks as far as like the smoothness and the shine and all of that. As far as how it felt to actually use, it felt really good. It is very lightweight. Like I said, the cord is a little bit heavy, but I feel like because the actual like unit itself is so lightweight, it balances out. Here's the tea though, okay? Do you need this blow dryer? Absolutely not. If you currently have a blow dryer that you use and you like and it works for you and you're happy with it, by all means, keep using that. However, if you have been curious to try this, if you are frustrated and you feel like your hair is really frizzy and it takes you a long time to get it nice and smooth and blown out, um, and you feel like as a result, you have to constantly be applying like more heat than you probably should to it. And your hair is getting a lot of heat damage as a result, then it might be worth getting, to be honest. If you are a professional though, like I said, do not forget to call and get your professional discount. So yeah, those are my thoughts. That's my first impression review of the Dyson Professional Blow Dryer. Ugh. God, I wish this wasn't so expensive. I get it though. I do get it. If you guys would like an update as I continue to use this long term, I can update you in a vlog or maybe just do a whole nother second video. Let me know if you like these first impression review kind of videos and what other products you'd like me to do a review on. But that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.